I love my WaterWise garden because I think it's enchanting. It's absolutely beautiful. It's pesticide free and um, I don't have to worry so much about my water bill. I enjoy the beauty of the garden, the color of the garden, and that it's saving me money on top of that. No matter how the water restrictions do change, this is still the desert and we do need to conserve. The difference between this landscape and my, and my lawn is very little maintenance. I might come out three times a year and do some cutting. The beauty, the habitat it creates with hummingbirds, butterflies, bees, it's just a, a world of difference. One of the things we do enjoy is we have so many different colors of foliage and so many different times of the year that plants bloom. There's always something fun to look at. I love just looking at the flowers. Every day I'll come out and look at, look at the flowers. And the neighbors like it too. I think that, that it kind of inspires them to want to change their landscape over. The fact that it's, I'm doing something that is a little different uh, is inspiring other people around. Uh, for example, a neighbor down the block is using just California native because California native plants are just as beautiful, uh, plentiful to find, and do, does the same thing. We haven't given up any quality of life. Everything we do is the same as we've done before. We're just uh, using different devices and different plants. I run into many people that have the conception that drought tolerant means cactus and rock. And that's not the case. There's so many drought tolerant plants that are perennials that flower. I've gone all the way from uh, a, um, a gas powered mower, went to a battery powered mower. Now I have no mower and I like that the best. If the only time you walk on your lawn is behind your lawnmower, then maybe it's time to get rid of it. So, I mean, there really is seriously hardly no work involved in it. So, I, I, and it's beautiful, so I can't see why you wouldn't want to do it.